I had the privilege uh, in the early 90s to be the rapporteur for uh, the Maastricht Treaty. Uh, it was a very big uh, pro-European attitude. Only the Communist Party, a small party in Greece, uh, abstention, uh, abstained from the, from, from the voting and we have actually uh, all the democratic parties uh, of the Greek parliament voted for this report. The EPP has been driving the European project from the start of European integration, a driving force to make this key milestone in Europe happen. Signing the treaty in the Dutch border town of Maastricht in February 1992 laid the groundwork for what the European Union is today. 27 countries stronger together, acting together. I grew up very close to the Belgian and the German borders and for me the Maastricht Treaty is a historic point in the European history and it really showed that we're not only citizens of the Netherlands or Belgium or Germany as in my case, but we are European citizens. My grandmother was born in Belgium, so the times before when border controls were there, we were always controlled when we had to pass the border and uh, the freedom we had with the free travel, with free movement from one side to the other, uh, it was uh, like, like being freed. Without the uh, Master Treaty, I wouldn't be here today uh, as a member of uh, this house uh, because it really allowed us uh, to have that integration also in the terms of institutions but also in terms of the enlargement. Maastricht impacts the lives of 450 million Europeans today with common EU citizenship, open internal borders, a single market, common rules and laws, a stronger role for the European Parliament, support for jobs, health, education, consumer protection, transport and communication. For most of them, a single currency and an EU on the world stage. Finland started to negotiate about joining the European Union during the Maastricht Treaty time. We thought that we can boost more jobs and growth if we are joining this common market. This is exactly what we need to do in the future as well. And we're doing now the Conference on the Future of Europe. We're doing this with the citizens, together with citizens from all over Europe. That is a direct effect of what we all started 30 years ago in Maastricht. Back in 1992, the future of Europe was wide open and uncertain. Right after the fall of the Berlin Wall, Germany's unification and the Soviet collapse. How to integrate former East Bloc countries into what was then the 12-nation European Economic Community. As then European Commission President Jacques Delors put it, history is accelerating, we must accelerate too. There was the awareness that we should change uh, the institutions in order to receive new members in the future. So this openness of the process is also something that we can attribute to Maastricht spirit. Maastricht laid the foundations of an economic and monetary union that helped EU countries adapt to a changing world and weather the crises that followed. European Central Bank system and Euro was uh, introduced in Maastricht Treaty. And of course, uh, after Maastricht Treaty, our single market has been, uh, it has been boosting very much growth and jobs in Europe. Free movement of goods and people. The Maastricht Treaty recognized the need for laws and regulators to protect the interest of consumers as well as the environment. Although uh, 30 years ago we uh, weren't thinking about uh, artificial intelligence, green transition, uh, it is quite clear that the uh, Maastricht Treaty really uh, made the, the foundation now for all of our decisions and for uh, us being more efficient in dealing with the challenges that we are facing today, but also with the challenges that are still coming. And in that sense, the Maastricht is really uh, a living document that is adopting uh, through times. As the COVID crisis showed, the EU's joint response helped to get most Europeans vaccinated, thanks to the groundwork laid by Maastricht on healthcare. If you look at the challenges that are in front of us, whether it's fighting a pandemic, whether it's fighting cancer, we know that we can do this much better, much more effectively when we do it together. And that seed was planted in the Maastricht Treaty. Building a Europe with more opportunity has its roots in Maastricht with the EU's so-called cohesion policy and its 750 billion euro plan to build back better. 
the union was uh, capable of developing the uh, 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 recovery and resi resilience plan, uh, these uh, funds, innovating the finance model uh, to achieve this, this purpose. And so this is clearly the same spirit that was there in Maastricht. Maastricht bolstered youth and education, helping millions of Europeans building on the cross-border Erasmus program. That moved uh, towards an Erasmus Plus, so an Erasmus for uh, all young people and also adult learning uh, throughout the years. This is the reason, for instance, why I also get, get the chance to participate in one of these programs in Erasmus uh, in the UK. And this is something that really uh, definitely uh, shaped my life in a way. Human rights, basic freedoms, common rules and laws are a key part of the treaty to respect the rights of all Europeans as well as those who seek refuge. Key issues to this day in holding national governments to their word. With Master Treaty we made progress there. We made, we made, we made a good progress for the rule of law, uh, the, the civil rights, uh, we made a lot of progress. But we need to be strong. If we are not strong, we cannot be the part of the world. Everybody has their eyes and try to copy what we do here. We have to do it successfully in each field. In enforcing rule of law, Maastricht led to closer EU cooperation in securing our external borders, in fighting crime, terrorism and drug trafficking. The next years it will be definitely more important to work uh, closer uh, on our cooperation in the fields of defense, in the fields of security. The EU updated Maastricht, including the treaties of Nice, Amsterdam and Lisbon, strengthening and adapting Europe's response to a changing world. Maastricht called for a common security and foreign policy, aiming to speak and act with one voice. Indeed, the European Union is a work in progress, what the future of Europe is all about. We need a stronger European Parliament to make sure that we fulfill the ambitions that we have, which is a stronger European Union with a more effectively functioning single market, with better border control, with better security, with better trade relations with the rest of the world. What is Europe? Europe safeguards us 80 years of security, stability and peace. What we have to do for our children to think how we can succeed the same results in the years to come. We need actions, not words. But what we need now is to go the step ahead. For example, in the European education area, it's the next step, not just exchange, but really cooperating on European level in the field of education. When you, you look at uh, all the geopolitical situation that is changing, you see that you need uh, a more active, uh, a stronger European Union. The roots are I'd say the DNA of these advances are clearly in this pillar of Maastricht.